Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am at Value Village, a Value Village I have not been to in months. So I'm super excited to be here today. There is a huge lineup for some reason. Like, I don't know why it's opening in like a minute or so so I guess that's why but it's not even a sale day it looks like it's a sale day like I don't know I guess because they open later now it opens at 11 instead of like 9 or 10 of what it used to be so maybe everyone's super eager I don't know there's a lineup so I'm not gonna go stand in it I'm gonna wait until it all goes in and then I'm gonna go in and go thrifting and take you with me today so I'm super excited so let's go thrifting Okay, so I just got in and everyone that was in that lineup is all in the home decor section. So I don't know why everyone's in the home decor section. It's kind of odd. I thought people would be shopping for clothes, but I guess not. So it's good for me because no one's in the clothes section. So hopefully I will find some good gems today. But I am just in the men's jean section like always. I always like to go here first. So hopefully I will find some gems in this section because Honestly, I've been doing really bad in the men's section lately. Okay, so far I looked through all of those and all of these and there's been nothing so far, so nothing really my size. I'm gonna keep going because sometimes they put stuff in the wrong sizing, so that's why I like to look through all of them, but not too much so far, which kind of is disappointing, but for some reason I've been doing really well in the women's section rather than the men's, so maybe it's gonna be that kind of day again. Look at this, $25 for Wrangler jeans. Like, if you could see my actual face expression, I would be like, floored. That is so crazy. Why are they all so pricey today? That's nothing. Like, nothing's under $10. Like, $20, $15.99. Oh, here's one that's under $10. But everything. It's so pricey today. Look at this. What the heck? Why? Why are they all so expensive today? So I did really well in the purses last time. So I'm going to go look at all these purses first. There's a lot of them before I get back into the clothing. I'm just like taking a quick break. Oh, this is cute. $6.99. The only thing is this thing can't really hold much, I feel like. Or it would all fall out. But that's really cute. But... I'm gonna look through everything here. I'm really hoping I find some more bags. Okay, so I just finished going through all of it, and to be honest, I did really bad. I didn't find anything. I did find this one, like, backpack purse, which I think is really nice. It's a nice leather one, but I don't think I'll get it just because it's like, meh. It's not like perfect for me, and also like, look at the price. Like, it is kind of brand new, so I get that, but mm, I don't love it that much, so I think I'm gonna leave that. I always like to start in like the men's jeans section and then I never know where to go after that. So right now I'm just in the men's t-shirts now and seeing what is here, but I'm the worst. I never know what sections to go to first. I usually just like walk around for like half hour figuring out a section I want to go to. So look at this. I legit haven't found a Harley shirt in so long. Like I think it's been probably like six months or something. I did really well for a while finding Harley shirts and then since then I just haven't found any. So look at this. This one's really cool. This one is Los Angeles. Might as well just pick it up. It's the first thing I've actually found today. Okay, this shirt is like really, really cool. It's like the periodic table, which I thought was really rad. And I was gonna pick it up because it looks very vintage. But then I saw this. So I just put it back. I don't know why I like this shirt so much. It looks so cool. I love that it kind of looks like a vintage kind of worn t-shirt. And it's just like kind of really simple. I don't know, I did love the, the font too. I think I'm just gonna put it in there, see what I think, I don't know. Just gotta put something in my car now because I feel like I'm not finding very much so far. Low key, I think this top is actually really cute. It's definitely like 2000 vibes here, 499. But it has this little cat and look at these little gems on it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get it, but I think it's really awesome. Look at that. Such a cute little baby tee. This is a pretty Aritzia top. I like this. This is really cute. It is 9 dollars so that's actually a pretty good deal for Aritzia. But the only thing is it's like super fancy, so I definitely don't think I'd wear it very often. So I'm definitely gonna pass on that. But that's a good steal if anybody wants like a fancier top, you know, for work or anything. Oh my gosh, I've seen so many of these tops lately. 
They're so funny, oh my gosh. I definitely had one when I was younger. So a few weeks ago, I thrifted another polo Atami polo like this, but not the stripes, it was like Argyle or something. And I cropped it and I've been wearing it so much. So I'm looking at this one, I'm like, this one's really cute. But then I low key think I might look like Worst Waldo if I wear this. Okay guys, I finally, finally found a cardigan short sleeve one I've been looking for for so long. Finally, it's been like, I swear like six months or something. I've been looking for one, so I'm so happy for this one. The only thing, it is, is an extra large, so it's going to be quite oversized, but I think I will like that, maybe crop it. I think it'll be really cute. Okay, let's hope this section treats me well today. I have been looking for more cardigans for so long, and I just feel like I have the worst luck. I don't know, I always find the worst ones, or I just don't find like any, so let's cross our fingers, we get something today found this cardigan which would have been the perfect cardigan but it doesn't have any buttons so it just I guess sits like that which I'm not a fan of but oh my gosh I got so excited and then I looked and I was like oh there's no freaking buttons Ooh, this one's kind of cute I don't mm, it's got like you know like a lettuce edging to it but I just wish there was like another button I feel like this is gonna be way too low so I'm gonna put that one back and keep going Okay, this cardigan is really cute too. I really like this one as well. I'm gonna just hold on to it at least. It is freaking beautiful. I don't think I'll get it, but I definitely wanted to show you this vintage tag. It's just so cool. So I just found this sweater and I'm not too sure. Is it too early to buy a Christmas sweater? I think this is really cute. This kind of vintage crew neck. I don't know. It's only $3.99. So I think I'm just going to put it in my cart for right now and we'll decide later. Okay, so now for some skirts. They don't have a ton here, so I don't know how many or if, if I'll find any. But that, you know, look quickly. This one's kind of cute, this sport. Okay, look at this dress. Look at this dress. Isn't that crazy? It is such a beautiful summer dress. It's a little vibrant for me, but it is from Topshop, I believe. It is from Topshop. It is a size two and it's $18. So a little, a little steep for me, but I just thought I would show it just because it's very, very interesting. I've never seen a dress like this. Okay, so I think I'm just about to go home. I'm just organizing everything in my cart and seeing what I want to take. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this snowman sweater just because I don't know it's July I don't know if I want to get a Christmas sweater that early but I think I will chance this one this one's really big it's an extra large but I think I will chance it and hopefully it'll work out I'm not really sure but I just think it's really cute I keep getting interrupted I think it's really really cute and I think I want to chance it to make it work worst case I could try to alter it so I found these shorts that I found in the women's section they are nice like high-waisted ones so I thought these were really cute these ones are $9.50. And then there is this tea I found. I found this in the women's section. It's like another Tommy tea. So I think I'll get this one. I'm not sure about the shorts. I still need to decide about everything in my cart. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I will see you at home. Okay, it is hot out here. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful weather out. And it was like not that great of weather when I went into the store and it's beautiful. So I'm really excited for the rest of the day now. I did really well. The only thing is that I've noticed at the Valley Village lately, especially, I guess, here in British Columbia, the savers, like, points reward system has been down, so I haven't been able to get any points. And also, because it's been down, you can't even see me because it's a stupid steering wheel, um, because it's been down, I haven't been able to use my coupons that are saved on there, so it's been super frustrating, but the one lady at the cash register, she actually gave me 20% off, which I've never had that happen. Usually they're stingy, and I was really surprised. 
that she gave me 20% off. She like scanned one of the coupons they had there. So I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So I was so happy. She was such a nice lady. Like that just made my day just getting 20% off, even though it's like not that much, maybe like five bucks, but still it's something. But yeah, I'm going to go home now and I'm going to go eat because I guess I go thrifting at like 11 o'clock. So by the time I'm done, it's like 1.30 now. So I went for like two and a half hours. I'm always like really, really hungry. So it's kind of weird. Usually I go like nine o'clock, but now that it's open at 11, it's like weird. So I'm always like getting super, super hungry in the thrift store. And it's not like I want to bring food into there and eat like, no. So I need to go home, you know, sanitize and then eat. And then uh, I don't know if I'll do the haul today. I might do the haul tomorrow because I kind of like washing all my clothes before I actually like show you guys them so I can try them on and everything even though I can't return them then but still I just like prefer washing them and sanitizing them before I dry them on so I will see you once they are sanitized and ready to be tried on okay I don't even know how to start these transitions I'm really bad at transitions but anyways I'm really excited to get into this thrift haul now I have everything washed I have everything sanitized everything is good to go so I'm really excited to show you everything I purchased six items and only ruined one of them in the wash so I have five good items to show you I'll show you the six one but um I kind of dyed it because I put a tie-dye shirt into the wash with this load of laundry and one of the items was bright white, so I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to put a tie-dye shirt into the wash with a white shirt, but I did, and now that white shirt is now not bright white anymore. It's more of like a light subtle pink color with some, you know, red splotches all over it, so not the look I was going for, so I'm definitely going to have to do something with that in the future and try to make it cute again. I don't know, maybe dye it, tie dye it. I don't know. I didn't really want to do any more tie dye, but I might have to dye this one just to get it to be wearable or get the stains out somehow. I don't know. That is something for future Jenna to worry about. So I'm going to worry about current Jenna and current Jenna needs to do this haul. So let's get into the haul. Okay. Since I was already talking about my mistake of throwing a tie dye shirt into the load of laundry that I just did, might as well just get it out of the way and show you the shirt that I flipped in the wash so this is the shirt it doesn't really look that bad on screen now that I'm looking at like my monitor um it looks fine but it is a kind of subtle pink now and it does have like these splotches where it looks like I like spilled like kool-aid all over it they're kind of just everywhere and yeah that's not really wearable like you could wear it and just be like just ignore the stains on my shirt but um it just kind of looks like a dirty shirt right now so it's definitely gonna need to be dyed or cleaned a lot I don't really know I'm gonna have to figure this out this is future Jenna's problem because past Jenna destroyed it so good luck okay the next item I got was this men's t-shirt and it is just like this cute men's basic tea. I don't know. I thought it was really, really cute. It says our additives, water, sunlight, air, and soil, planet organic market. So I don't know what the planet organic market is. I don't know, but I just really love the font on here and just what it said. I thought this was just a cute shirt to kind of just pair with, I don't know, shorts or even it could be a pajama shirt, but I think it's kind of nicer than a pajama shirt. So I definitely think I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this summer. I might even crop it. I don't know. This is just kind of shirt that has like a lot of possibilities with it. I could thrift flip it and put a band at the waist so it's nice and cute, but it's just like a nice oversized tee. And I like it because it is kind of like more of a off black, I would say more of like a washed black. And I really liked that when I saw it. So just the font and this washed black together was just like the perfect combo for me to get it. The next item I have is this kind of vintage Las Vegas shirt. I don't know if it's vintage, but it definitely looks very, very worn and vintage just because the tag is like pretty much worn out. It's like ripped out and then you can see like this, just like string hanging from it. So I definitely think this is like a vintage Las Vegas. You can see, you can barely read the Las Vegas on here, but it has like a cactus there, or actually it has like cacti. I don't know what it says here. I just remember the Las Vegas, Paradise, Nevada. Okay, I was like, what? So yeah, this is a really, really red shirt. I like it. It's also like that washed black kind of look. So it looks very, very vintage, but this is the next shirt. I believe I paid $2.99 for this shirt. And the last shirt I purchased, I believe they were both $2.99. So I 
I thought that was a really good deal for t-shirts just because sometimes you go to Value Village and shirts are like $10.99. Next item I got was actually from the women's t-shirt section, which is a section I never really go to, but I know I felt like it in this thrift with me. So I found this Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. I think this one's so cute, this kind of baby tee. To be honest, now looking at it, it kind of reminds me of like a Christmas t-shirt, the plaid and the green, but I don't know. I still really, really dig this. I really, really think this one's cute. I don't remember how much I paid just because I take all the tags off because I wash them now um, before I do like this haul portion just because I want to be as sanitary as possible. So I believe maybe $6.99, $6.50 around that range. Next item was the Harley tee that I found. I feel like I haven't seen a Harley tee in forever because it's literally been a long time because in my thrift with me series i took a little break because of the quarantine i couldn't go thrifting so it's definitely been a while since i found a harley tee and i'm really excited for this one this one is from los angeles it says los angeles harley davidson and this one is from 2010 so this one is 10 years old the only thing about this one is it is a size large but i believe it's probably a woman's large even though it looks like a men's t-shirt because it looks kind of small. I would say this is probably more similar to like a men's small, which is very interesting because I've never found a woman's t-shirt like this. Usually they're like v-necks or they're more girly. They got little like rhinestones on them. You know, you know, if you're thrifting and you've seen Harley women's Harley tees, you, you know what I mean. So this was very interesting to actually find a woman's Harley tee that was actually kind of like the men's style. Okay. And the last item I have is this Argyle cardigan sweater, which I'm so pumped about. I've been on the hunt for Argyle kind of items just because I've kind of been really into that pattern. I've been able to find a polo and then that's about it. This is my second Argyle item that I've found. I think just because they're super, super trendy now, they're kind of harder to find in the thrift store. I don't know if anybody else has the trouble finding them or is anybody even looking for Argyle? I don't know, but I am. I thought this one was really, really rad. It does have purple in it, so I'm not a huge fan of purple, but it's gray and navy, most of it. So I was like, eh, that's fine. We'll see how it looks on me. So I ended up just purchasing it just because I just been really into Argyle and they're really really hard to find lately so I'm super excited I found this one I think it was six something or ten dollars I don't really know I just buy things and don't really look at the price tag which is not very good. I really should be looking at the price tag. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift with me and thrift haul. I really, really enjoyed it. It was really great. I found some really great items and only ruined one of them. Yay me, rookie mistake. I don't know how that happened. But anyways, life moves on and now I get to challenge myself with, you know, reworking this sweater and making it new again after ruining it. But yeah, good job, Jen. That is it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift with me and thrift haul. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at Jenna Pips so you can see behind the scenes of all these thrifting adventures. But that is it. So I want to say again, thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.